hello welcome back to my channel it's your girl re and as you all see i'm back with another nail video so today i will be showing you all how i accomplished my bad y'all i'm getting tongue tied accomplish these boob nails so guys i had so much fun doing these boob nails but however if you're new to this channel make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on so you are notified every time that i'm posting a video and if you've already been here hello to all my lovely Reese cups i miss you all so much so right now i am showing you all how i start from the beginning of doing these nails so right now i am just using a very light nude color to do my first lady So right now I am using a size 14 brush. I always use a size 14 brush to do my nails. Um, at first I started off with a 10 and then I went up from there. I love a size 14. I feel like anything that's bigger than a 16 is just too big because it soaks up too much liquid. So as I lay my acrylic, you see me clean up the back of the nail and the sides because if you get the acrylic on the cuticle or on the skin, that can cause lifting. So you don't want any lifting. You want to make sure that it's on the nail and stay off of the cuticle. Okay, I had to clean this nail off a little bit, buff off the color that I put on there because I wanted something darker. So I had to kind of create a acrylic color to get a darker color because I wanted five different shades of skin tone on these nails.
So now that I'm all done using my electric file, I want to go ahead and buff out the nails and make sure that they're smooth. Then I'm going to take my cuticle nipper to get all the extra dead skin and cuticle that's there, just so the nails will look nice. Now that's what you call a perfect coffin nail, guys. I am so happy with my nails now. My shaping has gotten so much better. Like I used to not be able to <laughs> know how to shape for a long time, but I feel like I'm getting better and better. So now that I created the belly button, I want to go ahead and make my boob. So I get like a small bead and I just kind of want to try to keep it, keep it circle because you want to have nice perky boobs on your nails. So I'm going to go ahead and try to even those out to be the same size and circle them. And I'm just going to keep building on top of the circle that I make just so they will sit up.
so on some of these nails I'm using glam glitz I was going to use the glam glitz to make a heart shape on the nipple but I had decided that I didn't want to do that I wanted to paint the heart so um, I just didn't use it even though I was thinking about using it but I'm like no I would rather paint it in gel so that's when I went on and I just created the rest of my boobs for every other nail. So I'm just going to keep repeating the same process with each nail until I am satisfied with these nails. So I go on and I just do the same thing to every other nail.
So um, I'm going to go ahead and add my pieces on now that my boobs are in place. I am doing a Valentine's theme on these boobs. So everything that I'm putting on these boobs are going to be like something that has to do with Valentine's. So I'm going to put bone arrows as nipple rings on this boob. Um, I know it's weird, but guys, my mind goes crazy with different things I want to do on nails. And I was like, why not do some Valentine's Day boobs? It's sexy and it's cute. <laughs> Place my bow and arrow down with glue, nail glue. So then I'm going to place the nipple on top of the bow and arrow and kind of like smush my acrylic down some just so it can hold the bow and arrow on and so it look like there are nipple piercings. So on these I'm going to put heart nipple rings so I just use my gel to place the hearts on there and when I set the hearts on there I want to go ahead and put the nails inside of a UV lamp to cure that so that the hearts will stay in place.
Okay, so now I'm going to place my hearts onto the nipple with my gel color. Sorry that you all couldn't see how I did every nail. My phone had went dead when I was at the shop. So I had to continue this at home. So I took my phone home and I did not have a charger. So I went on and showed you all the last part of the nail. So now I'm just going to go ahead and add all my necklaces and things onto the nails. And then here's the ending results. I hope you all like these nails. I hope you all enjoyed this video. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and share this video with anyone, everyone. And let them know what your girl is doing. But I love you all. See you in the next video. Peace. Mwah.